Jennifer Given here with another GIMP tutorial. And this week I had a lot going on, uh, so when I began to brainstorm ideas for this video, my time constraints for editing had to be considered. Uh, no worries though, as I thought it would be fun to cover another method of personalizing your GIMP program. So without further ado, I bring you how to pimp your GIMP. What I will dem be demonstrating is changing the splash or startup screen for GIMP. Uh, and this is what I'm referring to. If you do not already have the GIMP program, it is a free open source program and can be downloaded from GIMP.org. And once you have the program on your computer, and you know, just simply open it up and install or uh, run the program. And when you initially run the program, this is what I'm referring to with your splash screen. And this is what we're going to look at today and how to put a custom uh, screen in here like I have with my own little picture with Wilbur here on the side. We'll just give this just a second to open up. Okay, now once we have our GIMP program open, uh, it's actually rather simple to create a splash screen or a, uh, an image to use in place of the default splash screen. Uh, you can just simply come up top to File and New. And we'll get our new image dialog box. And here we just want to set our image size, width, and height uh, to no greater than about 550 by about 300 and oops, excuse me 350 pixels. I'll just click OK. And this size here is just the uh, general basic size. It doesn't have to be exact, um, but if you do make it a little uh, too large, it will not run and will not run and will not uh, work when you start up GIMP. Uh, once you do have your background created here, uh, the correct size, uh, you can draw anything you want on here. You can import a picture into GIMP, uh, one you already, an image you already have created, and resize it to fit. And uh, for the sake of the tutorial here, I think I'm just going to draw a little bit uh, just to give you guys an idea of what we can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw some nice little There we go. Okay. And with that there, I am going to come up to File. And I'm going to export this. And I am going to retitle this Splash. And I'm going to save this as a JPG. Right. Make sure you know where your uh, image will be saved to because we will be having well, needing to access that here momentarily. When you're ready, just hit export. I'm when the uh, export dialog box comes up, I generally knock the quality all the way up to 100, uh, seeing as this is staying on my PC and it's not being used uh, for the web. And just click export. There we go. Now I want to minimize GIMP and come back into Windows. Okay, and now if you'll navigate on your PC to where you downloaded or saved the picture to, okay, and here's what we created, and it's just now simply a JPG image. And what we're going to do with that image though, however, is I'm going to go ahead and cut that image, copy it to my, or cut it to my clipboard, and on in within my Windows Explorer, I am going to navigate on my PC to where my GIMP uh, files are located. So this is the same place that you would install any brushes or scripts or plugins for GIMP. Unfortunately, I've had multiple instances of GIMP over the years, uh, so I have more than one location. Okay, uh, these are the files that are stored for GIMP. Uh, this is everything that GIMP uses from its scripts uh, and its gradients, brushes, so all your folders are located here. And if you will look here in, on your PC compared to the files I have, there are two folders I have here that uh, you will not have by default and those are splashes and temp splashes. So to start off with, you could s simply right click you know, anywhere within the window and go to new and create a new folder. And more than likely this will require administrative privileges. Once you have your new folder, entitle, you want to entitle this first 
select folder as splash, or excuse me, as splashes. However, I can't do that. I already have one, so I'm just going to simply delete. Alright, and once you have the your splashes folder uh, created, we are just going to simply come back down into the white and right click and create one new one so second folder. And we're going to entitle this one Temp Splashes. Uh, and now that we have our two folders created, our Splashes folder and our Temp Splashes folder, I'm going to go into the Images folder. And this should already uh, be in your on your PC. And when you open up into this folder, and by default, you should have a single picture of Wilbur, which is a PNG image. And you should also have another file and entitled GIMP-Splash. And what you're wanting to do here is simply you can remove the GIMP-Splash. Um, you can actually have as many startup screens uh, as you want. And uh, what I've done is, uh, since I do not want to use the traditional or default GIMP splash screen, I have just uh, cut it and pasted it into my temp splashes folder. And that was taken out of the images folder initially. And back inside with my GIMP, all my GIMP files here. I can come into the folder we have just created entitled splashes. And here I have a couple that I have created myself. And I'm just going to right click and paste. It does require administrative permission. Just hit continue. And you'll see we have our GIMP picture in here now. And just for now, I'm going to move my others over and get them out of the way. OK. So now basically what we have done is we have created an image uh, no greater than 550 by 350 pixels. We have navigated on the PC to where all of the files and folders for the GIMP program are stored. We have created two separate full file folders, one entitled Splashes and one entitled Temp Splashes. We have then went into the Images folder and removed the GIMP dash splash image. If you still wish to use that image, you can just simply put it into your splashes folder. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial and to change the splash screen to just one single uh, particular one, uh, we have just moved the default into our temp splashes. And any new splash screen you have created, just simply move it or paste it into your splashes folder. Now as long as there is not still in a PNG image uh, in, inside the images folder then when you open up GIMP for the next time you should get your nice new splash screen and there we go it's a pretty simple thing there like I said I uh, had a lot going on this week so I didn't have a lot of time to sit down and come up with uh, ideas for this week's tutorial so I thought it would be a fun thing to do to just sit down real quick and show you guys some neat little things you could do to kind of pimp out your GIMP. And that does conclude this week's tutorial. I hope this was informative. Please take a second to hit the like and subscribe button and we will see you next week.